Welcome back to another cool episode with Rick Productions. Today we're going to talk about DMX data cables. They look just like microphone cables. They look just like speaker cables, but they're not, I assure you. The cable on the inside is way different. The connectors look the same, but they also come in a 5-pin DMX version. Ooh, look at those cables, huh? Nice. We also use the Velcro wraps to tighten them up. Here is the end of the connectors. We have male and female left and right. Data cables come in all various sizes. Long, short. Look at this one. This is only five feet. On to cable management. If coiled properly, the cable should extend to the other side of the stage in one swift movement. Coiling back up using the over-under technique. Isn't this fun, boys and girls? Yay! Daisy chaining of DMX cables can make a cable longer, but too many connections in the run is not a good thing. True DMX data cables have a 110 to 120 ohm resistance value. Microphone cables are way lower in the 40 range, even in the 20s. Good quality cables will last you a lifetime. Some manufacturers actually will take back their cables and give you new ones for free. Dimmer packs are awesome. We use these in situations where moving heads and LED lights just don't fit. These are the conventional Lecos that we use dimmer packs with. Conventional fixtures need dimmers, so they're going to need a dimmer pack. Here we've got two dimmer packs in installed to feed all the power to those Lecos. DMX is controlled from cool consoles like this. Check us out for other cool videos that might help you out. If your finger's hot after watching this, hit that like and subscribe button, please. Rec Productions!